This video endeared Austin teenager Karinya Chen to more than a million people on YouTube and across the world. Too sick to use her ticket to the Florence and the Machine concert, lead singer Florence Welch came to Karinya's bedside at Hospice Austin's Christopher House, where Karinya was in her sixth year of fighting a rare type of bone cancer. That was back in May, and we are so sad to report tonight. Karinya passed away over the weekend, just five days after we met her at her home, where she talked so candidly about her life and accepting her fate, and also about that once in a lifetime private concert. Love Florence. To borrow a lyric from Florence Welch. That's probably one of the best 45 minutes of my life. Happiness hit her like a train on a track. Probably so, okay, it was the best 45 minutes of my life. When we visited her last week, Karinya Chen was living so what are you doing as now? much as she was dying. Honestly, I think the biggest thing is to not worry and fear. And I share a little bit when I say that because it's hard fighting and um, it's a difficult thing every single day. How are you feeling right now? Good. I, I feel 100% right now. There is, there's off days, of course, but today's an on day, so. That's the thing about Karenya. One, two, three. That is oh. so cool. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Woo! Listen to her. I love eating, sleeping, and reading. <laughs> And watching YouTube. And she might sound like a 15-year-old no, girl you know. I want to get a continue my education. Um, I want to graduate. I want to go to college. With the same dreams. This is myself. I'm just saying what I, I would like to happen in the future for me. But in the next breath, you see why she isn't like any other 15-year-old you've ever met. We've decided to just, like, God, give it to God. And just like to hear me. But, yeah. Take it one day at a time and just tell yourself, don't worry and don't take things for granted. And tell yourself that um, you are loved and you are blessed. Then it makes it a lot easier to fight. That is how she lived. Less than one week later, Karinya Chen died peacefully in her sleep. What a special little girl. Karinya was in the care of Hospice Austin for the last nine months of her life, and she wanted me to tell all of you how much she appreciated the nurses and the staff there. And we wanted to know a little bit more about Hospice Austin and who they serve. Many people think it's only the elderly, but Hospice Austin provides end-of-life care for people of every age, from the old to the very young, like Karinya. In fact, Hospice Austin provides specialized pediatric care, charity care for the poor and uninsured, and extensive bereavement programs. Hospice Austin also made that private concert possible for Karinya, and here's what one of her very special nurses had to say about her. I think hospice is really valuable for people who are suffering through their illness. Um, I think Karinya didn't suffer through her illness very much. I think she was really one of those kids who just was able to kind of stand above it uh, for much of the time. Hospice Austin is a nonprofit. They rely heavily on donations. If you'd like to learn more about what they do, look for this story right now on KXAN.com.